So what this is, is one cubic foot of earthworm, air redworm bedding. Next to some volunteers here. And uh, I got this from a local worm producer who makes fishing worms for roughly $3 a bag. Considering the price of earthworm castings at $30 a cubic foot, that's a hell of a deal. And you can get a truckload of these things. So what I'm gonna do is go along these beds here and put one of these bags roughly every three feet. And this is one of our light depth hoops that we've built out of lodgepole pine and cow panels. And we have to do a little repairs before we put our plastic on. And what we have here is a four year greenhouse grade plastic so it doesn't deteriorate in the ultraviolet because that's a problem out here. Plastic socks. So we want to get rid of the plastic that's been here and we want to stop using plastic that we are accustomed to using because we're still going along and picking out labels and packaging pieces of stuff that have fallen off these bags and we don't like it plastic socks so we have our bags spaced out and I'm just gonna go along with a machete and whack them open with my cheap machete here and uh, you can see yeah this machete's about had it this is a quality material this is all castings and we get worms in here we get dead worms we get cocoons we get baby worms All right, so what we'll do is just grab the bag and uh, spread it out. And outdoors, you could try to keep track of your ratio when you're in the ground as far as your one-third humic material, one-third organic matter to one-third aggregate. But we're not doing aggregate here because this is, this is all sand. So we have issues with a uh, finding aggregate here. So what we do instead is use our organic organic matter that we have around us to uh, fluff up our soil. And uh, this is what we get, you know, we can turn uh, sand into soil in as little as two, a couple of years. I'll go there, get the debris out. Just like so, all along the row. And, uh, just like that. Yep. And we'll just come along and spread it out. Turn it in. And since we don't really know what these are, we're not really concerned about it. Because we have better things going on. 
than volunteers. The only real volunteer that we can say we have is this guy. We know who he is because we know who his parents were. And I'm saying he because I'm just automatically assuming that's Neville reincarnated in his own type right there as a male. It probably won't be a female. So I'll just go along here and till all this in. Last year's stalks and everything. Good, good humic material. That's what it makes. And uh, yeah. Okay. These beds are ready to plant. This is a three year old bed here. Three year old hope. So, this went from sand to functional soil in three years.